Hello friends, my name is Narendra and I'm going to show you today about GitHub. So if I head over to my Google Chrome and just open a new window here. So if I go to www.github.com and I think GitHub has provided essential tools which all developers should have with them. So currently if I list out my repositories here, currently I have around 49 repositories in my github profile so i would like to tell you more things about github i have one more git client so that is bitbucket.org so they both work together and almost have the same functionalities so i started working with github most of the things in github but right now i switched to bitbucket but both are good in my case both are good both are really viable and they have provided a, a huge support to the developers so i'll be discussing in this lecture as, as well as demonstrating various github commands so which you you should be as a developer you should know all those commands before in order to keep the track of your project and it is helpful while if you want to refer your old code and on computer you might come across various times that you don't have the old codes so you might refer to some snippets which you can save there so to get started you can go to git as you can find on google git scm and the first link is there so if i head over to git scm so this is a thing currently i'm using version macintosh so that's why uh, i have a download 2.20.1 for mac but if you have windows you can go for the windows build you can click on windows build and you can download whatever according to your computer requirement you can download that thing from here i've already downloaded and installed so installation process is almost the same in for the mac and windows like other softwares you deal with them if i head over to my terminal for that you need to go into terminal or git bash terminal which comes shipped with this thing but in my act it doesn't come so first of all if i want to set the global like if you have created a profile here on if you have created a profile on either of them github or pet bucket so in order to add any repository so firstly we need to enter fresh project so let's go and create so currently i'm in my home folder and i want to create a new project folder on my desktop so i'll head over and I write cd desktop and currently I'm on my desktop so whatever the folders are or files are on your desktop so you can if you want to list them all you can simply write ls command or in windows you can write dir so currently I have these folders and files on my desktop I want to make new directory for that I have mkdir and whatever is the full project name folder name projects let's say make git demo so this created a new directory so if i list out again new folder has been created git demo so to get into that folder cd git underscore demo and currently i'm in my git demos i have created two projects here one for github and another for bitbucket so mkdir github and you can write it twice mkdir github or and then uh, then run another command mkdir bitbucket whatever is required but i like to do it in same line so mk mkdir bit bucket so it created two folders in my git demo if i want to list out the directories available or files is available in this git demo directory for that ls so i want to go for the github first so cd github and currently I'm in my GitHub directory. It's completely clean and empty directory which we just created. I want to open this thing in my VS Code editor. So first of all, I will write code dot. If it isn't installed in your computer, you can install that plugin. It comes with a plugin available in the extensions. So I type this command and this will open up this uh, VS Code here. I want to create a file here. To create a file, you can write touch and whatever is the file name so i want to create app.js file and if you refresh this a file is created in the directory so i will write simple function just for the demonstration purpose this function is not going to work anything just stuff like that so and i will create one more file touch ignore file this will be the file So by writing this command touch ignore file.js it created another file and 
I'll write something. Sample ignore. Ignore function. Something like that. And this will return true. And I'm not going to run this file, so we don't have to worry about this. And here, main up loaded function. And this will return a string. I am uploaded function. If I save it, it is saved by Google Chrome again and create a new repository and I'll create simply write it name git demo simple repository to learn git commands and you can choose private or public if you want to show your repository to other developers who can refer to you can check you can opt for this public option otherwise you can go for the private option so in my case i want to go for the public so i choose public and create a repository this will create a repository here so to to include this project if i list out currently we have app.js and ignore file js so to initialize a github repository firstly you need to configure this command line git for that you can simply write out this thing git config dash dash global user dot email and you can write like in my case i'm using mandy mandy zero nine eight eight hotmail.com so it will configure this github uh, software to your global email then again i want to config my global user dot username so which will be in my case landy landy one so this has configured this my profile my username link and the next thing i would like to do is to at this repository so first of all we have to initialize this git repository so for that git init and we'll press enter so this shows that you have initialized an empty repository here so now to add all the files whatever you have made here so you have to write simple command add git add all this will add all files and if i ls we have these two files if i want to see the status we can write git status and this shows that we have just created two files app.js and the other one is ignorefile.js so next is to give some message so give commit dash m my github demo files created so this is the way how because when you are working in an enterprise this is the way where uh, how the developers will come to know whatever the things you have named whatever so you can you can also refer to these messages at this time you committed this you this is a dash and shows that you have given some message to it so this will create mode this will create two files in our repository but currently we haven't linked this repository to this one so for that we have to just copy this come on git remote add origin and what is the url the server name and if i head over and if i paste it over here and i press enter so this repository any error it will pop up otherwise it won't and now we have to push these files to main github demo repository which i just created so for that git push origin master and make sure your internet is connected now you can say master branch has been created if i reload this page 
here we have our two files which we created so now you will say we have both the files but i wanted to ignore this file that's why we named it ignore file.js so for that i can go to my vs code and i can create one more file here that is dot get ignore file so to create that file from the command line you can simply write touch dot get ignore and this will create a get ignore file now to exclude this file from the main repository you can simply write here the file name ignore file.js and if i save it and now if i again get add all and if i check the status get status we have new file get ignore now get commit dash m as usual get ignore file just created and now if i push that thing so first time you have to push you have to add this remote origin but on the second time you don't have to do that because it's already initialized uh, and pointing out to this server repository so now i just have to write git push origin master and this will push that repository over there and if i hit reload here we have our git ignore so now you say this ignore file.js is still there so for that i just have to go and i'm just copying out this function and i say don't save and i just delete this file i'm making this file to delete and then again i put git add all then git status we have this is status this file has been deleted now git commit dash m ignore file.js delete it now if i git push origin master then this will delete this file from the server so if i go and hit reload over here we won't have this file anymore so now let's create that file again um, ignore file.js and i'm gonna just paste this function over here and if i head to my git ignore file.js we have this file now if i go and check this out git add all git state thus and currently on master branch nothing to comment so that means that means uh, this git initialized repository just ignored this file so now if i get comment dash m created ignore js file.js but excluded from the get her repository now get push origin master and we still everything is up to date but the git has been committed so if i hit and reload and check this thing out we don't have any change here so in the same way we can create a folder also let's say we have if you work working with uh, express or node.js you should be having this folder node modules this folder should not be uploaded to the server because if we have one more file that is called package.json and this file if you're working with this node server and you have this file always ready because this file will tell you what type of modules we are using in this source of the application so we want to include exclude this file but we should exclude this folder so in the same way we should be having some public directories also public directories and this will contain your assets like css javascript files whatever you are using in your project you want to push this file but not this one directory so for that you can simply write here node underscore modules so this will if i go to my terminal and if i say git 
add-on and if I want to check the status get status this will say modify dot get ignore file and new file packet dot json if I commit let's create a file in here sample package js something this is a package or dependency which is required and there's some more file that style.css so i want to push this directly but not this because this package sample package.js would be included in a package.json so in order to get at all now get status we have modified not get ignore file as well as new file public style.css has been created so now push those files over the github so we can simply write git commit dash m style style.css just created git push origin master and this will push all the files except this folder and accept this file so VS code comes with a pre-installed git tracker as a plugin so it also keeps the track of your repositories how you have changed whatever the files are modified now if I go ahead over here and if I write one more function sample function 2 return hello world and if I save this thing now we have this m stated and little pop over here that means this file has been modified so firstly from the first one if I reload currently we haven't pushed the changes if I want to check the content of this file is this thing now if I go to my terminal and I say git add all get this will add all the modifications which we made to our repository get if i want to check them get status and the source modified app.js so get push origin master but before that we have to commit that thing get commit dash m app.js file updated or you can write this thing you can write anything depending on your code type in app.js new function created and get push origin master now if I go to my github repository and if i reload we have this in app.js new function has been created if you want to check this out we can simply click it and here we have our function so that's basically it in my next video i'll be talking about this bit bucket so hope you enjoy the video if you like the content you can share and subscribe to 